preventing people from following the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> Allah was responding toward the kuffar, to the query of the kuffar. Their query was that the people, somebody amongst them, had been killed and that two others were captured and had become captives. And so they were querying that because according to them that had happened in a holy month. And the holy month is that of Rajab. If you people claim to respect uh, sanctimonies, if you people claim to respect sacred sites and periods, then why do you fight even when it's your holy month when you are not supposed to fight? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that really to the Muslims at that time, killing or fighting in the month of uh, Rajab or any other sacred month, any of the four other sacred, um, three other sacred months, with Rajab making four, a, fighting in any of the months was actually haram. It was prohibited. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began to count those things that are equally prohibited or even worse than what the Muslims had done. So Allah said, وَصَدٌ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ If you prevent people from following the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is worse than fighting in the sacred month. And worse still, these people had done these things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is counting, also in a sacred month. You remember that when the Muslims, we read that in the past, when we were talking about Hajj and Umrah, that when the Muslims came to perform Umrah, the Kuffar had stopped them from entering Mecca. They had come for Hajj, but before they could even do the Umrah, before going for Hajj, the Kuffar stopped them from going. You remember that? فَإِنْ أُحْسِرْتُمْ فَمَا اسْتَيْسَرَ مِنَ الْهَدِي if you are stopped from entering Makkah, then you can slaughter your ram, you can make your sacrifice, and it's assumed that you have completed the rites. And then from there you can go back home. If you don't get another opportunity to perform Hajj, that will suffice. We read that maybe two, three years ago. Some of you were probably not in the university yet. But we have taken that so that they prevented the Muslims from performing Hajj. So what they did to the Muslims was also in the holy month. If they had any respect for the sacred month, why did they do that to the Muslims? Especially when they were about to carry out a major rite in their religion. This ayah is also reminding all other non-Muslims that come between Muslims and the practice of their religion. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, preventing a Muslim from performing such a major right in his religion is worse than fighting that person so that the Muslims can get to perform it, even if it's in the sacred month. And as we have always said, Islam prefers dialogue. Because Islam grew more when Muslims had the chance to engage non-Muslims in dialogue than it did through wars. The wars were not majorly about expansion, as a lot of them will want to believe. 